Soon there may be a microscope that can see objects smaller than a single photon. This is the Qubit Lab. For many years, it was believed that light was a wave. And that's true, but it's not just a wave. Light's also made of particles. Waves are good for measuring times and distances. Just count the wiggles to measure a length. But what about the particle aspect of light? Well, it turns out that this can be used to make much more sensitive measurements. Think of a guitar string. The different aspects of sound are similar to light. The note is like the color of light. Beautiful, Larry. And if you strike the string harder, you get a louder sound, which is like a brighter light. So what are the particles of light then? Well, these are like the harmonics of the string. The higher the harmonic, the faster the string wiggles. In light, the higher harmonics means more photons. More photons wiggle faster than just one photon. So measuring length becomes much more accurate. More wiggles is like having a ruler with finer markings. This is the brand new field of quantum metrology, where quantum particles are used to push the boundaries of experimental precision. Many are already using this newfound precision to make some pretty big waves in the science community. <laughs> Can you see what I did there? Yes. Because we were, we were talking about light waves earlier. Yes, Larry, I got it. Anyway. Researchers in the UK, Geneva, and Germany are collaborating on methods for producing carefully crafted pulses of light that contain specific numbers of photons. Now this kind of light can't be made with a light bulb or even a laser beam. Special crystals or individual atoms are needed. Taking advantage of the quantum nature of light could make it possible to build microscopes capable of seeing objects smaller than a single photon, or help create a device which could pick out features completely obscured by mist or fog. In Louisiana in the United States, there's a two and a half mile long detector which uses quantum meteorology to detect vibrations smaller than the width of a single photon. And Einstein predicted that these tiny shifts could be caused by tremors in space produced when giant stars collapse. Now detecting these gravitational waves could be one of the most demanding experiments ever conceived. But thanks to quantum metrology, it may now be possible. Quantum metrology opens up a whole new world of precision in measurement. In fact, one day it may be possible to determine precisely how stupid Larry looks in an Einstein wig. And that does it for us. I'm Larry. And I'm Larissa. And we'll see you next time. Excellent, Larry. <clears throat> Thank you. Thank you.